Berkeley, who is the chief executive officer of the Cutter Stock Exchange, which has been an important partner in pursuing your deal. We have had a number of activities with them, uh, including the Algorithmic Trading Hackathon in May, the Qatar Stock Exchange sponsored this event, and hosted it at their uh, office in Westchester. Today is uh, Mr. Al Mansouri's second appearance in the Dean Lecture Series. Mr. Al Mansouri is an enthusiastic advocate of business and finance in Qatar. Through his leadership, QSC pursues an aggressive agenda uh, to enhance and promote capital markets here in Qatar. He works with government and regulatory agencies to streamline the legislative and regulatory framework for the benefit of the investment community. During his tenure at QSC, he has overseen the upgrade of Qatar to, be, to emerging market status by MSCI and to secondary emerging market status by uh, FTSC Russell. He champions Qatar as an investment destination of choice in the region and has been a strong advocate for building awareness within the local investor, investor community of products and services offered by the exchange. Mr. Al-Mansouri is also a board member of the Qatar fin uh, Financial Center, the Qatar Finance and Business Academy, and the World Federation of Exchanges. He will speak to us today on the role the stock market plays, uh, exchange plays in economic growth and sustainable development. Before I invite Mr. Alvin Suri to the podium, I'd like to take a moment to greet the members of the media. Welcome. We're delighted that you are here. As you know, we've reserved the question and answer period um, for members of our academic community. So could I please ask members of the uh, media to save their questions for after the presentation. Would everybody please join me in welcoming Rashid Ali Al Mansouri to the Dean's Lecture Series. Uh, thank you for the warm welcome. And I'm happy to be again uh, at CMU. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to address you today. I want to thank uh, particular Dean Michael Tech and welcome him to the Qatar community. I look forward to continue our successful uh, and thoughtful collaboration with CMU and that is leadership. Also, I would like to uh, thank my friend Paul Anna, I don't see you right now, and thank you for his uh, uh, energy and fueling this relationship to go forward and uh, thank for all the team that work with us from the uh, CMU staff. Uh, QC and CMU started our long standing relationship a few years ago. QC and CMU, uh, we, we have entered into a number of agreements and collaboration related to education and professional development, enhancing investment awareness, and conducting research in the financial market. Qatar Stock Exchange has an important role to play in achieving Qatar National Vision 2030 to become one of the most advanced countries in the world, capable of uh, sustaining development and providing high standard of living for our nation's national citizens. We are continued, uh, we are committed to contribute to the national economy and local community through building on Qatar principle, <coughs> openness, modernity, adapting new technology to serve the goal of development and the economic progress. I am happy to be here today to speak about a topic that we should all be thinking about and working toward, fostering sustainable economy for the benefit of both current and future generation. A sustainable future depends on stable economic growth. The more growth and profit businesses have, the more people have jobs leading to more consumption and better the, life, the quality of life. It is a continuous loop. However, economic growth also can have negative impact on the environment from increased pollution to the diversion of natural resources that is not sustainable for our future. It has become necessary to focus on sustainable development while achieving economic growth. Many sectors, including healthcare, technology, infrastructure, transportation, energy, and education, have been identified as important elements of Qatar national vision, and they need focus 
and investment so that we will fear all of Qatar people today and tomorrow is secure. What might not be clear is how our stock exchange can help this sector and how we can contribute to a positive economic and societal outcome for the benefit and well-being of our nation, both now and in the future. What I would like to do today is talk about capital market and our stock exchange in particular, and the important role they play in the economy. I would also like to introduce you to some of the initiatives we have launched at the Qatar Stock Chain to foster economic growth and support the international vision for sustainable development. I would like to touch on the importance of small and medium-sized enterprises and the role they can uh, and do play in the economy and why they are so important to the future of Qatar. Lastly, I will explain some of the initiatives we uh, at QC working on to advance the sustainable agenda. The, the potential <coughs> the potential contribution for stock chain to uh, be positive and influence and make a difference for the future economic sustainability and sustainability of a country is considerable. Let's just look at a few key facts. According to the World Federation of Exchange, in 2016, there were nearly 50,000 companies listed on 81 exchange group around the world, representing a broad range of economic sector from banking and finance to information technology, from infrastructure to healthcare, service company, natural resources company, and consumer retail sector are all represented. The reach is broad and wide. While many people believe that stock market represents most large companies, in fact, there are many exchanges, uh, many things dedicated to small and medium-sized enterprises, which make up important and active part of the economy. These small and medium enterprises on SMEs are recently established business with some trading history. <coughs> A large proportion being started by young entrepreneurs or they are family-owned business looking for additional funds to help them expand. This company also generate revenue, pay salaries and contribute to the economic cycle through provision of goods and services. They also innovate and disrupt the traditional business model and can introduce competition leading to improved products and services for the benefit of the community as a whole. Given the importance of SMEs to, uh, uh, to global economies, we cannot overlook this business or their contribution to the economy, which is why we are launching a venture market targeting specifically a small and medium-sized uh, uh, company to allow them benefit from equity financing. Where do capital market and more, specifically stock exchange, fit into this picture? There are several, several uh, research paper based on studies looking at the economic history which suggest that financial development is integral to the economic development. I will not, this is citation here, but if you are interested, I will be more than happy to provide you uh, the citation at the end of the talk. Before I get into that, uh, what this is all mean today, I first want to give you a high level overview of how capital market and flow of money work. A well functioning capital market can enable economic growth and develop, uh, development by facilitating the mobilization of financial resources between those who need funds to grow with those who have the resources to invest. Exchange have the responsibility for ensuring compliance with a respect of market regulation and surveillance. I think I skip something here. <coughs> okay. A stock chain is one of uh, one such platform through which such flow of money market plays. This slide helps to visualize the interaction and flow of money. 
financial institutions such as the stock exchange operate in between the supply of the demand of capital. Investors, uh, whether individual or institution, can mobilize their money into productive investment by investing in companies through a stock exchange platform. In turn, investors own portion of the company, placing responsibility on the company to generate investment return for their shareholders, which can then possibly be reinvested. In case of new equity share uh, issuance, investors in, uh, in effect raising funds for companies, allowing them to finance projects. These projects are usually large scale in nature, having an importance on the community as well as uh, the environment. A modern day stock exchange operates within a framework of law, uh, rules, regulation, and aim ensuring that fair, efficient, and transparent activities are taking place. Exchange have responsibility for ensuring compliance with all aspects of market regulation and surveillance as prescribed by the bodies that regulate and oversee the markets. Here in Qatar, we have the country financial market, which is QFMA. Given the size of the global stock market universe and the level of capital flow that run through it, the influence that stock change has in order to pioneer initiative that promote economic development cannot be underestimated. Exchange provide corporation and entrepreneurs with means of uh, access to capital. They need to expand and grow their business. <coughs> Stock exchange also provide the means to maximize return on saving. Shares can deliver higher profit and dividends while offering investors assurance through regulation and formal oversight over investment activities. Stock exchange can also serve as a barometer, uh, a barometer of national physical health, broadcasting the up, down, trend, and shift that are the benchmark of the society financial infrastructure through benchmark indices which track sectors of the economy or the market as a whole. While facilitating the flow of funds, is the core what uh, exchange do. We play leading role in the development of capital market standards and practices for the institution that operate within our market. I would like to talk about corporation, uh, about corporate governance a uh, little, as this is an area of what the Qatar Stock Exchange has been committed to, bringing best practices to our market. What do, we, what do we mean by corporate governance? Corporate governance refers to the rules and process under which companies have managed and operate. It's about ensuring that companies act in the best interest of their share, shareholders. Why is good corporate governance important? Good corporate governance underpin the integrity and efficiency of a company. Good corporate governance promotes the principle of transparency and disclosure, fairness, accountability, equality among shareholders. Good corporate governance maintains investor confidence and helps ensure the value of the company shares is sustained long term. With the increase in uh, the competition for capital, investors today demand more disclosure and transparency in business practices. Investors not only demand more transparency in accounting and financial disclosure, but also the level of social responsibility a company has undertaking to ensure the protection of the investor as well as their commitment to being a global corporate citizen. We promote good governance at Qatar Stock Exchange, including the introduction of capital market policies and an instrument designed to promote more sustainable investment and environmental practices. We need smart policies and greater coordination between ministries, legislators, and regulators. Environmental, social, and governance reporting, what is referred to as ESG, is now an intrinsic part of the regulatory framework and investment management 
criteria of all developed economies. As investors increasingly look to assess commitment of companies initially invest to the sustainability agenda through their performance against SG metrics. This diagram uh, gives you an idea of the environment in which we operate ma uh, match with the two principal roles of stock exchange, capital formation and capital allocation. When a company wants to expand or fund project, it can raise money by selling shares of stock in, uh, in the company uh, to the general public via primary market. <coughs> this first sale of company shares is called an initial public offering before this uh, sale can take place. The company needs to uh, adhere to a strict disclosure and reporting uh, requirement set out by the government bodies or the regulators. Then it is listed on an exchange which becomes the market base for selling the shares in Qatar, the regulatory body in Qatar, as I mentioned, is the Qatar financial market referred to as QFMA. Capital allocation. Once initial shares of stock are out in the place, investor can buy or sell these shares on what is called the secondary market. At this point, any sale proceed go to uh, the buyer or seller of the stock and not to the listed company. This transaction takes uh, place through a third party broker. The buyer of the shares now is the shareholders, benefit from the health of the company and the profit. Settlement clearing for uh, trade is done through a clear house. In Qatar, that is Qatar Central Depository Company, which is called QCSD. Today, many investors are looking to invest in social responsible opportunities. You can already see this point, how important transparency and disclosure are for a company as well as their initiatives for sustainability. And for an exchange, the criticality of a providing fair and efficient trading venue. I would like to give you a brief introduction to the Qatar Stock Exchange. The Qatar Stock Exchange started trading uh, in 1997, and it was called Doha Security Market. We play an important role facilitating Qatar economy transformation by providing platform for redistribution of wealth to fund expansion and high value project in a key sector. Our aim is to be world class exchange as part of comprehensive government and the private effort to transform Doha into a financial hub in the region. Uh, as part of our development strategy, we focus on implementing the process and mechanism that are in line with the best international practice. In our short 20 years history, we have already grown to become one of the leading stock market in the region. Today, we are second largest market in the GCC measured by market cap and also we are the largest stock chain in the emerging market on the Middle East. Listed on exchange we have now about 45 companies and they are one of the large, some of them are the largest company in the Middle East like QMB, Oridu and others. Our client benefit from several state of art technology platform with uh, one, we are using one of the best technology that used by uh, international stock change, like New York Stock Change, like Euronext, what we call it UTP. Since 2014, we have benefited greatly from being upgraded to the emerging market. And as I mentioned, we are the largest uh, emerging market exchange on the Middle East. And we are the second large, larger uh, stock chain in the Middle East by market, market capitalization. Our inclusion in these indices have raised Qatar for a uh, profile among the international investor committee just to bring foreign funds to our listed companies. So these, these are very important has to be included in the emerging market and to keep us from any shocks on the Middle East because we have a large base of the international investor. And if you, if you saw in the uh, last few uh, months, we don't see that much of uh, you know, a shock in the, in the stock market itself. 
Uh, and I, as I mentioned, we are also a uh, member of the uh, World Federation of Exchange, and we have seat, and I represent the stock exchange in the uh, World Exchange Federation. Our primary objective is, is to support economy by operating secure, efficient platform for trading and investing. Now, what exactly is meant by sustainable development? The International Institution, the International Institute of Sustainable Development has defined sustainable development as, quote, development that meets the need of the present without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs. This is powerful. Our society today has a big responsibility to forge prosperity for our communities in the present in the context of what the impact of this decision and action will have later. In Qatar, this is the underlying premise of the Qatar National Vision 2030. Our country has enjoyed the high level of prosperity and exceptional economic progress due to the investment made to developing the energy sector, namely LNG. Now Qatar is the leading export of LNG in the world. The international vision determined that the welfare of our future generation relies on how effectively we invest our wealth today in the area of human, social, economic, and environmental development. We are not alone in this thinking. Many, uh, many economies are welcoming higher economic growth recently. The US, China, India, Nepal, and many countries in the Eurozone, as well as several African countries this is good news. However, the world is at a critical moment in time and faces numerous development challenges which can negatively affect economic growth without warning. You know, these challenges will geopolitically, uh, tension, climate changes, uh, social inequalities, and pricing pressure, among others has become more critical to protect economies from this, protect economy from this risk and shocks that destabilize the growing economy. We need growing, we need growth that's sustainable in order to successfully address the challenges we face today, which put our future prosperity at risk. To address this, the World Bank has identified three pillars of sustainable development. Economic growth, environmental stewardship, and social inclusion. The United Nations and the World Bank framework has launched a set proposal, proposed goal, and targets for countries to design their agenda and policies, laying out the pathway for the future sustainability of economic growth. These goals are known as Sustainable Development Goals, or SDG. These goals cover a broad range of environmental and social uh, societal issues, including poverty, climate, water security, education, <coughs> and the environment. Finance is a critical cornerstone of the SDGs, as profitable exchange and investors rely on a healthy and prosperous societies. The Sustainable Stock Exchange Initiative was launched by the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, calling on a member exchange to explore how to enhance corporate transparency on environment, social and corporate governance issues, and encourage responsible investing. Stock exchange have an important role to play in promoting good corporate practice and facilitating investment in sustainable development, from sustainability reporting and mobilizing finance to ensure equal accessibility of capital market service and building global partnership to address sustainability risk. The SSEI provides an effective platform for peer-to-peer -peer dialogue among global member exchange for exploring how exchanges in collaboration with the investor, regulator, and companies can advance transparency and ultimately prosperity. Exchange can become better corporate citizen in areas of environment, society, and governance. Given our breadth and reach, stock change are in a very good position to affect change and help promote good corporate practice. Qatar Stock Change joined this initiative in 2000, 
15, and we are committed to supporting this objective. Since companies started listing on stock exchange, we've been committed to improving corporate transparency, ensuring responsible management, and advancing sustainable performance. QC aim is not just to be a leading exchange in the region, but to be a leading organization in Qatar that promotes the best in all companies for the good of the country. Our commitment to sustainability has multiple dimensions. As a capital market organizer, we are in a position to engage with and invest issuer, investor, and market intermediaries. As a company, we are committed to adhering to the standard that we advocate ourselves. More specifically, we have traditionally been committed to the promotion of financial literacy in Qatar through regular presentation at university and school. This educational aspect of our mission has expanded to include programs for our listed companies covering investor relations good corporate governance, and the transparency. QC is committed to advancing sustainable performance, transparency, and governance practice in the market through the provision of guidance and tools to help our listed companies and our investors. QC aim is not just to be a leading exchange in the region, but to be an influential and respected organization in Qatar that promotes and adheres to the best practice for benefit of our nation. I mentioned earlier that the importance of small and medium sized enterprise to economic growth and sustainable development. The SME is economy, uh, in, in economies around the world are key to growth and prosperity. This sector is an important contributor to job and economy. An issue faced by me, uh, many SMEs is access to finance. And here in Qatar, we solve this, but we still have this issue to attract and uh, encourage those small companies to come to the exchange. And there is still some regulator, uh, regulatory hurdles that are trying to fix to speed up the process of helping those SMEs. As I, uh, as I mentioned, uh, this uh, sector is very important for job and uh, economy. Uh, as uh, as being of supporting economy the diversification policy, we are launching the venture market. So we have the Qatar, what we call Qatar venture market, a small medium market for the small, small size companies in Qatar. We have pipelines of about 10 companies now to join us, and hopefully we are trying this year to do more to attract more of those to the uh, stock change. Our listing department uh, is the front line uh, partner for issuer, for issuer to discuss investor relation practice. In 2015, we launched an investor relation award program also to uh, acknowledge the achievement of listed companies in terms of transparency and communication with shareholders. The methods of the assessment of this aware award were developed according to the standard. So we have a uh, few programs for the company to develop their uh, IR. One of them is the we which was finished just yesterday uh, to indicate the companies of importance of investor relation. And we have award in, uh, in the first quarter of every year to award the best uh, company on the investor relation. We are uh, of mind that investor will increase in factor in corporate sustainability objective when making investment decision and will therefore demand more openness from issuer. As part of our uh, participation in SSE, we have issued guidance for corporate ESG, the board reporting for listed companies, and have embarked on program to educate listed companies on the importance of sustainability reporting. <coughs> we are also launching a web platform to help our listed companies to mobile uh, to mobile and produce ESG reporting for their benefits and that of the investors. I will end here and thank you for your patience and uh, I hope uh, that you found it uh, very useful for you today. I usually sometimes refer to step away, but uh, my team said today you need to follow what we are writing for you. So I listen. I listen. I listen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We have time for some questions. <coughs> yes. Yes. Um, this is a 
QSE have uh, plans to um, create and list uh, foreign um, uh, products for diversification reasons? Yes. We, um, I mean, if you mean uh, dual listing or product, yes, we are. We, are, we already um, I mean, uh, have a program for dual listing. And uh, we have talked with a few countries that we list some of their sectors, especially in telecommunication and real estate. And we hope to push uh, this forward. These are the Arabic country, And we have some uh, talk also with Asian uh, countries for dual listing. As you know, some of our companies are dual listed, like Uridu, you know, that's listed in more than one stock chain, uh, in Qatar and in UAE. And I hope it's still traded there. <laughs> but I think they are doing good. And also, we work a number of products, especially uh, uh, foreign debts, to be listed in the stock chain. That project was very strong and big project, but um, uh, nobody caught me, especially the oh, we have uh, 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 water here, so I will not say. <laughs> After you later. <laughs> but, uh, but yes, see, and then we are working on that. Okay. Thank you for the nice presentation. I'm Mohammed Shoaib from Peninsula Newspaper. As uh, your lecture focused on sustainability, which is the key element of you know generating investors' confidence. Given the recent past examples, the exchange has lost a lot of cap it market cap. And uh, not only this Qatar is no exception. Even in China, we saw a lot of volatility. How can uh, exchanges work together to you know, enhance the investors' confidence? Thank you. OK. I understood your question about the liquidity and uh, the, about the uh, maybe uh, the capital and so like that, okay. The volatility in the market, I don't think it's too volatile about the market, but you see the trend of the market, it started, and someone might say this is due to the blockade and that we have the drop of the index. Uh, I think um, we don't see, in a, usually, some people try to crash the market in the beginning of the blockade in the two days. But if you see the trend of the market, it started uh, since 2015, with the oil price and the Syrian crisis and then the Yemen crisis, all the markets started going down. If you follow that trend, you see, and at that time, the stock market does, was not really you know, uh, going with the uh, same uh, level of the oil prices drop. We've been sustained and very strong. And you know, it has been like, like, like that. But now we see you know, more of issues going around. Qatar, uh, what we need here in Qatar, to uh, sustain more confidence, and I think, I think we still have confidence in the market. If you go and see the, um, uh, the chart that has information that we uh, publish every, every day, you will find, you will find a lot of uh, buyer, and the net buyer is international investor. That means they still confident in our market. But how we, what we, this period of the year, okay, it's usually slow, okay? Our index, I mean, let me tell you a story. In the beginning of the blockade, we had two countries trying to flood the market with shares to affect the market. And we saw that everybody got shocked. But the second day, we observed that immediately. And we started going up back again. So now we cannot, of course, ignore the blockade, but also we, don't, we cannot say this is because of the blockade. I mean, I think we have a strong market. And if you see the daily value and the the, the daily value, it's exactly the uh, same as last year. Of course, we have to go more, but uh, the trading uh, value and value are the same as last year and maybe a little more. Okay? As a company, I will assure you, as a Qatar stock exchange this year, we make money more than last year. Okay? We work very efficiently and trying to uh, make it uh, very attractive to the uh, uh, investor. I'll tell you something also. The, the investors are very smart. They find it very, uh, very uh, attractive pricing now. And some, some people try to choose to go out and come back and buy. But if you look at the institutional investor, they're still in the market because they know that their dividends are good. Thank you. Thank you. Yes? Uh, I oh, Hadid? <laughs> That's you? Oh, she gives me trouble. Okay. Um, Stock 
That's a good question, Hadi. Okay. Um, okay, I'll tell you something. I mean, uh, as I mentioned in the first um, one or two, two days, two institutions and funds from two of the countries that blocked Qatar, neighboring countries, you see, fly to flood the market, and we can monitor that, and we know them exactly who are, who are they. It's very easy. We know who, we have their big number, we know the names, and we know what they want to do. But also, uh, the second day, we observed this. But what I can assure you, we passed the blockade shot, and we are operating as normal, and we go um, uh, through the, uh, just with, while ex executing our strategy. And I assure you, after the blockade, and some people uh, say uh, that I'm not, uh, I'm not correct. I'm correct, and I can blow, uh, prove it for, uh, for anybody wants, and we have the numbers. After the blockade, we have more than 100 funds, international funds, institution, open account in Qatar. And I was really supervising that, helping to one of the people who helped to supervise opening this account at that time. So uh, that, that the, the, the interest uh, is there. So um, the second question about uh, uh, IPOs, yes, we, uh, we have a pipeline coming up. Uh, we have two funds. Uh, ETFs to um, really to, to launch. Actually, I mean, I was speaking to one of them yesterday and they're saying, it's like within this month or so, they will, uh, you know them, Doha, Doha <coughs> and Rayyan, they're two, they're ready to go uh, public. They are ETFs and they are good for uh, people who don't want to you know, pick the stock, they can just invest directly in those funds. And uh, this is obviously good for our uh, colleagues who's uh, foreigners and living in Qatar and we like to invest, it's a good opportunity for them. And we have also companies uh, under, um, uh, you know, process. One of them is ready, but that's also the decision is to the company if they want to go listed or not, at any time, of course. Yes? Okay, uh, my final name question. Mm -hmm. One final question. Uh, my name is Fessel Sheikh. I'm a senior here at Carnegie Mellon studying finance. I'm actually working on a business model right now for one of my classes related to the stock exchange. And so if you'd like, I can share that with you later. But I have a question. How is the Qatari stock market uh, contributing to the economy in a way that, apart from liquidity being low and the index losing some value recently, but there's not, um, there's not new capital being created because the number of IPOs is low. And the last two IPOs kind of created controversy because the last IPO, you know, the company was already in loss, but it still was listed. and. It is almost half its uh, value now, and the one before it, which was Qatar First Bank, is also at a loss. And so how is this contributing positively to the economy? If the companies, like the quality of the companies being listed is, is actually not as strong as we would hope. Okay, well, that is a very good question. And I think also part of it is an answer. I think you can ask a question and you answer it if you say the IBOs. I think what we need in Qatar market is a good IBO. We didn't see a good IBO in about 10 years, but we have, as you mentioned, the first bank, and you see the other company, which is small companies, small IBOs. We need to fuel the market, and the IPOs are the market fuel. So we are working for, with government and the private company, private owned company, to come to the market, big ones, okay? So uh, I think that's the answer to it. I mean, we need more IBOs, we need the product, we need to kill the bureaucracy in the, in the regulatory environment with faster decision making. And uh, we as stock market, we are doing our best to provide the product, the tools, etc. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's thank Dr. Uh, Mr. Al-Mansur.